the moment i run the workflow it should be able to dynamically select whatever the choice i make for example if i ask to select the phone number it should be able to dynamically select if i ask him to select the uh, email address at the rate uipod.com should be able to select or the url right and this page the challenge with this page every time you refresh the page right the position of the phone number the url the email address keeps on changing okay because of this this becomes extremely difficult to use a selector so how do i build a selector is the technique called enhanced selectors and we are going to learn about that i have built a small workflow which i am going to rebuild for you just to show you how it works so let me run it and first of all show how it works and then i am going to help you guys to build this particular workflow okay so what is happening it's going to prompt me for what would you like to highlight let's say i am saying phone number now the phone number is on the third place isn't it so if i click on phone and click on okay see it has highlighted now let's say i am going to refresh it now the phone number has come to the second position what if i run it will it be able to dynamically highlight that because the position has changed right so let's see so right now the it will prompt again asking me for the phone number let's say i'm clicking on phone number once again click on okay see it is highlighting even the position has changed so this is very 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 critical and helpful for you to know how to utilize the enhanced selectors okay so let's get started designing this workflow prior to that anyone who's new to uh, uipath expo hub please do subscribe to our channel we have got tens of thousands of videos that you could get help from we have organized everything in the playlist please utilize the playlist and start helping yourself and this has got ample of knowledge for you to get certified to get a job so a lot of things are here just go through all of them please do subscribe please do like our channel videos thank you so much with that let's get started okay so here this is the particular landing page this landing page i am going to provide you the link how would you get this so there is a folder i am going to upload uh, and you can download this is coming from uipath academy so this is the sample for practice purpose so this is the when you click on this this is going to open up i have seen for some reason it is not working quite well on google chrome so i am opening that you know i'm opening that in internet explorer if that opens in google chrome just copy paste into internet explorer and try to open it okay whichever works for you doesn't matter now the question is how do i build the enhanced selector correct now for that what i'm going to do first of all let me delete the sequence okay and let me create a probably uh, we will go with a flow chart and try to do this okay so that will be slightly more uh, helpful so i'll create a flow chart okay just give a moment for it to complete uh, no i do not want a new flow chart but i want to use a flow chart within it okay so flow chart all right so now the very first question that i'm going to ask the customer is an input dialog box right so let me use an input dialog box and here i am going to ask customer what he would like to select so there are three different options one is your at the rate uipod.com which is an email address a phone number and a url okay so here i'm going to ask the same questions to him what would you like to choose so click on it and here you what would you like to highlight highlight click so this uh, particular uh, browser is not clickable if you click on it nothing is going to happen but again we will use a highlight activity instead of a click so wherever there is a web page where it can be clicked you can use a click activity so here i am going to have three different options for him so i'll put curly braces and inside the curly braces i am going to mention the first one is email the second one is phone and comma th the third one is url okay so the format is quite clear to use the option box done so this is the format guys okay done so we have created that so once customer you uh, know makes a choice it should get into a variable control plus k and i am saying use this choice which will store his choice okay done now go back here right so here you have created it now the next thing i want 
is uh, you know uh, it has to do certain job it has to go ahead and select certain things so for that what i'm going to use i will use a switch activity so this switch activity is going to help me to determine how the selector is supposed to work okay so here in the switch activity what i'm going to do uh, here the choice is there in the user's choice correct so depending on the user's choice it should start working so the first choice i have given is email if he is making email let him you know by default it will come to the default one um, right so here what i am going to do i will use the assign activity and here in the assign activity i am going to create a variable control plus k i am going to use the enhance selector for the enhance selector there are three different methods so one of the method is regular expression okay using regular expression i am going to do it now i have created a variable any variable you want you can create for learning purpose i am just keeping keeping it simple regex now with this variable there are three things i have to do one is the i have to find the email address so for the email address this regular expression is the one i am going to give this regular expression to you also there is a entire chapter we have built on regular expression starting from introduction what are these caret symbols what are the dollar symbols what are the plus sign specifier so all of this we have well uh, created videos for you to learn the regular expression but i am just assuming that you know regular expression so for the regular expression for email i am going to copy this particular one so there are three conditions one is the email so the first one i am placing it here as email okay so done so this expression is for the email which is created now the next one next choice will be phone he could even choose phone so if he's selecting phone so remember while using a switch activity always ensure that the type argument has changed to specific one otherwise this is going to prompt you such errors so ensure it is changed to string because we are dealing with strings now here i am going to say phone if his choice is phone the second choice then again use a assign activity and here please use a regex the same variable and this time here i am going to assign the same regular expression for the phone number now so this is different from the first one and i am going to copy paste it is everything is in the double quote okay and i am going to provide you this regular expression in the description box you can copy paste that now the third one left is url correct so for the url again i'll create another condition say url done now here i have to use a assign activity once again the same thing i'm repeating just that here depending on his choice a regular expression will have a specific expression assigned to it okay that's all we are doing so here i am going to assign the regular expression for the url all right so i've done so now depending on his customer's choice a value is going to get assigned to this regular expression so phone url or the default one go for the email address done so i'm done with this particular part now the third thing i wanted to do here the third thing i want to do is i want to highlight that one right so how do i highlight so i'll use a highlight activity and here this is the trick where we have to use the enhance selector now generally how do you use the highlight here there is an option called indicate on screen correct so you'll we'll hit on indicate on screen and you'll go to that particular page right and here you select any one of them okay and we will modify that let's say i'm going to select this one okay so once you have selected go to selectors so here you says it says selector first value tag p first value thing because i have clicked on the first button so i have to dynamically i have to change it right so that it is it can work for any of these three so how do i do it through regular expression just click on open ui explorer okay so once you click on open ui explorer here on the side you will find something called a name okay so the a name would come so highlight just click on it then the a name will appear now what you do select the a a name completely do not select everything okay just select the a name within the single quote within that single quote you have to select the entire a name okay so once you have selected properly just right click and click on choose variable so i have created a variable called regular expression isn't it so that will be assigned so here i am going to do i am going to use the regular expression variable click on okay okay so once you do this the other one is it can be in the first box second box or third box right so i don't know so i'll use a star here because that is every time it will be changing after you do this then what you do you know here 
after the you have written regular expression give a space and simply say matching colon okay this is a syntax you should know matching colon a a name active accessibility name equals to here in single quote you have to write the variable name the variable is regex okay that's all you have to do so here once you have written this you have to be very very careful you have given a star you have changed that a name to regex okay and here you are saying matching equals to a name regex okay so if you validate what happens it will become wrong okay this will this will not work so what you do click on save don't do not worry about that okay just simply save it all right so once you have saved it okay it's supposed to work so let's first test it and then we will further design it okay first test if it is highlighting or not so here i will ensure this is there in the background i'll go back to studio okay now in the studio let me run it so the very first thing it is going to prompt me is to uh, make a choice isn't it so let's see okay it has started prompting so let me open that let's say i am going to select uh, let's say the phone number okay so i am selecting phone so if i click on phone or let's say url okay let's say this is the url right so it should highlight here so if i click on okay okay you saw it it has highlighted so our workflow is working very fine okay now what i want i want it to be in a repetitive way so as i said this particular web page when you refresh it changes its uh, position right it it'll, if you see, if i refresh it is again changing so i have to refresh so that it i can test my dynamic way so for that to refresh you have to use the activity called refresh so the refresh activity requires a ui browser act, uh, element okay so for that before using uh, refresh use a attach browser activity okay now open this attach browser activity here you indicate on screen and highlight this particular browser all right so i have highlighted after highlighting this is very important in the output you have to create a variable control plus k say so i am saying ui browser i am creating a variable here okay so this browser is going to contain the details about the attach window all right so once it is there next thing what i going to do i will use the refresh activity okay so this is again a learning for you how to use a refresh browser this is very very useful so refresh browser when i use here i'll be using that ui element see if you highlight here it clearly tells you the existing browser variable that you wanted to attach to okay browser variable so here i have created a browser variable ui browser this is the browser variable same variable i'll be using in the refresh browser okay so here in the input simply type ui browser the variable that you have created done so that word is going to refresh now go back to the main page clear so here i am going to refresh this and once it is refreshed i want that to again uh, you know go back so let me try this i am going to again it is going to prompt for the input okay so that 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 way i have made a loop so let me run it and see how it is working okay so let me run it okay ensure your browser is at the back okay just started so let me uh, select it okay all right now let me first select the let's say uh, i am going to select the we will do all the testing okay let's say email so click on okay okay it highlighted the email at the rate uipad.com and then it refreshed the page it again refreshed the page it came to the this side now let me say phone number so every time it is refreshing the page okay if you notice all the position is going to change now i am saying phone number phone number is in the middle box so click on phone okay it has highlighted then it will refresh done it has refreshed the page very good now if i select url url is like that www right so url okay you saw it got highlighted so you understood how this one is working pretty nicely the the way we have selected so let me stop it because i have put it in a infinite loop so let me stop this okay so you understood the technique how this thing is working right so this is very 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 important to learn the enhanced selector again i request all of you to please do join our channel ui path expo hub where we have got hundreds of videos which would help you we have created a playlist organized everything for you so that you can pick any playlist and start learning one by one and every day we are the best thing about our channel is that we, every day we are uploading a video every day 
every day we are very very regular to this so please do join our channel get benefited get a job we'll be very very happy to know your bright future thank you guys thank you for joining with us have a great day